this is the Prophet. It's a digital delay pedal from TC Electronic. Um, it's one of the more affordable pedals out there. Designed in Denmark, built in China. I do quite like these TC Electronic pedals. Obviously they're the newer generation of pedals since a certain company has taken them over. But these come in around about 30 or 40 pounds. 30 or 40 dollars, depending on where you are in the world. I mean, so they're really giving the likes of sort of K-Line and Amun and all that sort of crowd a run for the money. And obviously what you get with um, TC Electronic is, you know, you get, you know, a proper, a proper brand. Metal enclosure, nice big chunky knobs, um, rubber feet, audio in, audio out, um, 9 volt input. As far as I know, you can't put a battery in these. Um, but yeah, true bypass, everything you want in a pedal, affordable, sturdy. Um, yeah. Let's see how it sounds on a monitor. Okay, this is my dry signal. Click the pedal on. This is um, one eighth, like a quarter note setting. Yeah, repeats doing exactly as you'd expect. <laughs> and that's one of the um, nice things about this pedal. You can set the repeats to maximum. And it's just like going, all, not as a drone, but you know. Take it off. Take it on again. Dial it back, and they disappear. I like that. I do like that. I do like that. One could set up an interesting effect with that. Again, time, doing exactly as you'd expect. How quick will it go? Yeah, so sort of slap, slap echo. Little bit, little bit. Maximum mix. It's obviously there, we're not hearing the dry at all. Versus all the way off. So you can keep the pedal engaged and just use the mix control. I like that. I like that. Everything 12 o'clock. That was the quarter setting, 16th setting. Kind of sort of slap echoey. What does that set like maximum? It's a bit Doctor Who, isn't it? Uh, 
I can't see I'd use that setting. Now the three eighths, which should give a kind of weird swingy vibe. <laughs> This is nice. Bit of judicious use of the mix and the repeats. Easy. Let's just change just simple triangle. See, that's interesting. I have to sort of even use it as almost a, a delay. I can almost use it as a drone effect. But of course, as soon as I play over it, It's just going to do that kind of sound on sound effect. So that's so that that's what's a bit different about the Profic Bedweather delay pedals when you're changing the time. It doesn't do those kind of weird woo kind of warping effects. Instead, it does that kind of chopping effect. Um, 60 Cycle Hum showed this when he reviewed um, his his Profic pedal uh, on guitar, which is, is, yeah, is nice. Generally, when you adjust the time on a delay pedal, you get some sort of weird artifacts. So some, you know, some people might like that. This is a slightly different. I don't know whether it's because it's, you know, digital delay versus analog delay um, but does give you interesting tone shaping or I don't know noise noise effects I am going to dial in a large hall reverb Let's do some more playing with that maximum repeat setting. Interesting. I like how when you take the time down, it kind of makes sort of sort of uh, degrade the signal almost.
that's weird. You could definitely sort of sample that, play that back as a kind of pad. Bypass it, it's gone. And here it comes again. Hmm. So I think that does kind of make this pedal kind of, it puts its own little sort of space as being kind of perfectly good digital delay pedal. Um, doesn't claim to be an analog delay, just bit bucket brigade doesn't claim any of that. It's just, yeah, this is an affordable digital delay pedal. But having that repeat uh, maximum kind of little trick does open up some interesting sound shaping, sound playing possibilities, especially with the synthesizer and probably with the guitar and the bass and, and, and the voice, anything you want to put through it. Interesting, interesting. These come in at about 35 pounds, 40 pounds. It's pretty good, that's pretty good. The one, I, I will say the one thing I don't like about this range of pedals is the switch. Although you, you know you've got a light, it tells you it's on, but it's not a it's not a clip it's, it's not a clicky switch. You don't hear it. Um, do not like that. Um, I want to have some kind of almost some audio feedback that I know the pedal's engaged. Um, yeah, I mean you know you get that even with super cheap pedals. Uh. He said, uh, let's quickly show you the the two Yetis. Right. Right. That's what I want to hear in my in my switch. Um, that would be my one gripe about the about the, this whole range of pedals. Um, you know, it's the same for the Vibra clone and the June chorus and all and all that lot. Other than that. Can't go wrong. Thirty-five pounds, like the price of a big pizza and a couple of beers. Perfectly usable digital delay pedal. All right, let's wrap this up. Um, the profit TC Electronic, affordable digital delay pedal. I quite like this actually. Um, I like the fact that it's kind of a different from say, you know, I've got a couple of these old Dan Electro delay pedals. This one actually stops has stopped working. Mm. Um, I mean, I don't know. I kind of like, you know, th these old things have a lot of character. This is like, it's just a big square brick. Um, don't know how it'll it'll hold up on the road. Um, it might fall apart after a couple of months. I don't know. Um, I would definitely use this in a live gig with, say, the Pro One or the Model D, for example. Um, I'm curious to try it on my little modular rig down here. Um, obviously, what you can't do is you can't put a sort of, uh, a, uh, not a CV, um, a clock into this so you can, can't clock it. So you have to just kind of go by ear, or, you know, so you can't get those kind of tempo synced effects. And it's obviously it's got no tap uh, tempo function. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's, it's your very basic, um, you know, um, muck, muck pedal, um, nothing fancy. Um, but yeah, I, I say I, I I quite like these TC electronic pedals. Anyway, I think I'm rambling now. I don't think I've anything more to say. Um, if you've got one of these pedals, um, let me know what you think. You love it? You hate it? Um, what delay pedal should I be using for my synthesizers? I don't know. Let me know. All right, ta-da! <laughs> Thank you.